Okay, we are back again. Uh, last time we talked about how to get summary statistics of a single variable, things like mean, standard deviations, uh, summary statistics tables, all that good sort of stuff. This time we're going to be expanding a little bit. We're going to be looking at summary statistics uh, or basic calculations for two variables at the same time. Uh, and so uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to be looking at basically how two variables uh, relate to each other, work together. We're going to be working with the exact same data set as last time. So I've already loaded in the foreign package and then loaded in the wage one data set from that. Uh, so we should be ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get started right off the bat, uh, is with a correlation. Uh, so we're going to do a regular old correlation. Uh, as you might expect, the name for this has to do with correlation. It's going to be C-O-R. Right, so we're going to calculate a correlation between two variables. Uh, in particular, let's say we're looking at, we're interested in whether there might be some sort of correlation uh, between education and wages. Okay, so we've got, uh, of course, wage as the first input there. We've got the wage, the wage variable from the wage one data set. We also have the wage, uh, the education variable from the wage one data set. Calculate it out. He tells us the correlation between the two is 0 0.406. Pretty good. Positive as you would expect. We might also be interested in whether that correlation is statistically significant. Uh, we can test that. Uh, all we got to do is the exact same thing that we just did, except we're going to do the test version of it, dot test, core dot test. Now, by the way, if you weren't sure how to do this, uh, a lot of functions will have extras on there. So if I just put in core dot, just to see if there's any sort of variations that I can run, it'll pop up test for me immediately right there. I don't have to go looking it up. It'll just tell me exactly what it is. So core dot test, if I do this, It'll give me all the information I need. It'll do the same calculation, 0 0.406 as the correlation. It'll give me the 95% confidence interval of that correlation, and it will give me the uh, p-value for that correlation being equal to zero. So there we go. So now we have a correlation going on. Uh, now, uh, another common way of looking at the relationship between two variables is simply looking at a frequency table. Uh, so we used table last time to look at the different values uh, of something and how many observations were in each value. For, so for example, we did the table of education. We did table wage one education to show the, diff the distribution of education for each different years of education. We can also do this easily with two variables and it'll show us the cross tabulation. So how many observations fit into the cross of two different variables. So if we did it with education, there'd be a lot of different cells to track. So let's just do it with some simpler uh, ones. So we're going to calculate a cross tabulation. Uh, so this is going to be table, the same table function as before, but we're, this time we're going to put in two variables instead of one, and it will, it will automatically know that we want a cross tabulation. So the first variable this time, let's say we want to look at the relationship between, oh, I don't know, um, whether you're married uh, and uh, whether, what else we got here? What can we look at? Uh, whether you're married and whether you're in a major metropolitan area, an, an SMSA. So let's say we got uh, the, the table looking at the, the cross population of uh, being married and being in an SMSA. So if we do that, it will show us the tag cross tabulation. Uh, so on the left, we got zero and one. Uh, so that's showing us the, um, uh, if you're married or not, on the top, we have SMSA, zero or one. Now this, unfortunately, this is one of my pet peeves in here is that the table function is so nice, but it doesn't actually show you which variables on which axis. Uh, so we do have to, to do a little bit of, uh, of uh, monkeying around here to get some, some labels on these axes so that it's a little bit easier to read. Uh, and now, if we didn't know how to do this, we would look, of course, in the help file for table, and it would tell us how to do this. And in particular, it tells us to use the DNN option or the dimensions uh, right there. So we DNN. So I want you to label this married for the first one and SMSA for the second one. If we rerun that, now it'll say, okay, now we got married over here on the left. We got SMSA on the top. So we know, for example, that there are 160 people who are not married but are in an, an, an SMSA. We have 100 people who are married but not in an SMSA. We have 220 people who are both married and in an SMSA and 46 people who are neither. Uh, now, if you wanted to turn this into a percentage table, there are different ways you can do that. I'd recommend going on Google to figure out how to do that. Okay, so... We have gotten our correlations. Uh, we have our tables. 
Uh, we can also do a t-test to do a test for the equality of means between two different variables. Uh, now, there aren't any really variables in this data set that make sense to do with this, so we're going to sort of do one at random. Let's see if the average number of years of uh, education or tenure, job tenure, is equal to the average number of years of job experience. Now, we wouldn't really expect them to be the same because if you've had a job before, you'd have more experience than tenure at your current job, but let's check it anyway. Uh, so the syntax is going to be the same as, as before, so we're going to check for the difference of means. Uh, between two variables. So we do t-test just like we did before. A lot of these commands you'll notice are similar commands to what we did before, but this time we're putting in two variables and it just sort of knows what to do. So this time we're doing wage one uh, experience and we're going to check, again, remember t-test is, is testing something against zero. So we're going to look for the difference between these two and check whether that difference is zero. If the difference is zero, then they're the same, right? So we're going to do experience minus wage one dollar sign tenure. Run that. This will give us all the same stuff we got from t uh, test last time. Uh, and we, this time we do have a p-value that's very, very small, showing us that the means of these two variables are in fact very different. Uh, the confidence interval of that difference is between 11 and 13, pretty big difference, and it gives us the average difference between the two. Okay, so, so far we've looked for correlations, uh, we've done cross tabulations, and we've also done t-tests uh, testing the difference of means of two different variables. So what is next? Uh, so after this, uh, what we're going to do uh, is we're going to ask a question, okay, well maybe we want to get means uh, within groups. Like, like for example, we did that cross tabulation. Maybe what we're interested in is not necessarily how many people are in those groups. We're interested in, say, the average wage within those groups. Are married people in SMSAs getting higher wages than non-married people uh, in SMSAs? Right? That's an interesting question. Uh, we're going to do that with the aggregate command. What aggregate does is it basically takes a data set or a data frame and it says, okay, well, what do I want to aggregate this over? Maybe I want to aggregate it over gender. And so it would say, okay, I want to calculate the average wage, say, for people with uh, female equals zero, and again with, people with female equals one. So it takes the, takes the female uh, equals zero people, clumps them together, takes the female equals one people, clumps them together. That's what we're going to do here. Uh, so we're going to get average wage uh, by marital status. Okay? We're going to do it with the aggregate command. Uh, now with the aggregate command, the first thing that it's going to take is something called a formula. This is something we're going to come back to again and again. Uh, but basically what we're saying here is we want to know the average wage by marital status. And so we're sort of modeling uh, wage as a function of marital status. We're saying, hey, wage might be different depending on your marital status, right? So we're going to say that wage follows a function of, that, that's the tilde there, that's the, that, that, that uh, particular character is up, should be up on the top left of your keyboard, up above the tab key, um, and we're going to do it as a function of marital status, meaning whether you're married or not. I need to tell it what data set I'm working with, so data is equal to wage one. And finally, I need to tell it what function I want it to calculate. And it knows that I want to aggregate uh, over marital status, but it doesn't know what I want to do with wage. Do I want to average it? Do I want to take the median? What do I want to do? I want to say function big old capital F-U-N for lots of fun and also function is the mean. All right, I want to take the mean of wage over different marital statuses. If I do that, it will tell me, okay, if you're not married, your average wage is 4.8. If you are married, your average wage is 6.6. .6. Apparently, I made a good decision. Uh, now, maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we want to get more detail than that because remember, I, the original question I had is, are people in SMAs who are married getting more money than people who are in SMAs but not married? So I need to do it not just over marital status, but over marital status and SMSA. Conveniently, it's pretty easy to extend our function. Uh, all we got to do is say, well, we want to do it over marital status and SMSA. Well, what's another word for and plus? So I'm going to do it married plus SMSA. And this will give it over all four categories, right? If you're not married and you're not in an SMSA, uh, your wage is 3.9. If you are married but not in an SMSA, it's 5.3. Uh, if you're not married but in an SMSA, it's 5.1. And if you're both married and in an SMSA, it's 7.2. All right. Uh, so 
What we've done is we've looked at a couple of different ways to look at two variables together and how they vary together. Right? We looked at a correlation. We know how to calculate a correlation between two variables. We talked about how to look at a cross tabulation of two discrete variables. So if I want to look at all the different values of one variable and all the different values of another variable and see how many people fall into each of those cells, I can do a cross tabulation with table. We talked about how to do a t test testing the difference of means of two different variables. Uh, and finally, we talked about how to aggregate our data set over different uh, values. Uh, so in this case, we said, you know, we, we aggregated our data over married or not married, and we calculated the average wage within those two groups or within the different four groups of married versus SMSA. So we sort of stuck our cross tabulation in there and we calculated the mean in each of those cells. All right. Uh, so that's it for summary statistics. In the next video, we're going to start talking about some other really good ways of looking at your data, in particular, plotting and graphing, which is, of course, an indispensable part of any econometrician's toolkit. See you there.